the high commander of the anti galamse tax force operation vanguard says its checks in the etiwa forest is yet to establish any illegal mining as suggested by media reports some media outlets reported on tuesday that illegal miners had besieged the forest destroying water bodies in the process However, commander of the anti-illegal mining tax force, Kenel William Japon, says its checks in the forest was yet to establish any such breach on the ban against mining in the country. And here is uh, Erastus Asari Donko's report. some days that sense of prison vanguard was mandated to um, uh, sort of wage war against illegal mining in, in our country. Now I have with me here Kenel Ejapon who has been at the forefront of this fight. Today we're going to have an interview trying to assess uh, the performances, what has been done and what needs to be done going into the future. You're welcome to join us. Thank you very much, Erastos. Now, let's start with the statistics. Um, what have we been able to do on paper? Uh, thank you again. And then uh, I like the way you started that we've been, the operation started about a year ago. Indeed, the planning, the planning at a strategic level and operational level started way back. But on the ground, operational wise, tactical wise, we came into the theater at the end of uh, July. And so we've been roughly in the theater about let's say five months and I think that on paper it looks very good. Uh, we have been able to effect as many as uh, 672, no, 699 arrests in Eastern Region, Ashanti Region and Western Region. Uh, in terms of the, 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 the equipment that the illegal miners and the, some small scale miners were using, we've been able to immobilize as many as get into 3,000 shamfans. I'm talking about the portable uh, water bond machines that are used to destroy the water bodies. We've been able to also seize or immobilize over 69 excavators. But for me, the interesting thing is that the, the, the small scale miners themselves came on board and then during the period we have monitored not less than 900 excavators that have been voluntarily moved from the various mining sites to the uh, urban areas. And uh, you can imagine what 900 excavators on our soil could have done to the country for all these five months. So in terms of statistics, this is where we stand. It's looking good. And I hope that by the time we get to the end, we will have something more better than what we have after this four and a half months period. From where I sit, and from the operations we have been conducting so far, I can say emphatically that no Operation Vanguard personnel has stooped so low to be compromised, as is being said. We recall that there have been, people have been hiding behind the banner, behind the brand name Vanguard. In fact, some news items that came up recently in Western region and Eastern region was clear to the fact that people hide under the name of Vanguard and they, 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 they sort of do whatever they want. Arrest us, not, 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 nothing comes up uh, clearly. It's been, it's, been, it's been a very challenging job right from the beginning up to here. You, when, when you have to go to the field and you are in the field sometimes, you, 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 there's no communication and, and you, you, you don't even know where the next group of your personnel are. It's been very challenging, but what I have come to see and know is that the Ghanaian soldier and the Ghanaian policeman can be trusted. Once they know the kind of mission they're undertaking, once they trust and they believe in the cause, and they trust the leadership and the operation itself, they will give of their best. I think that that's been my, a very challenging moment for me, having the opportunity to have the military and the police work in a concerted effort to achieve 
a very good aim for this country. I think that has been a very challenging moment. And um, uh, at this point in time, the military and the police hierarchy think that it's time to have a change over of, of, of the leadership. And so nothing is going to change. It's vanguard. It is not about an individual. It is Operation Vanguard. And so as long as we are concerned, Operation Vanguard is continuing. Uh, so maybe by next week or two, I'll leave the scene and somebody else will take over and he'll continue the very good work that the military and the police have been doing all this time. Well, so uh, that's it. We know that they are making the right effort. The Vanguard team, Operation Vanguard, making sure that we bring you the best. And Erasmus Saridonko was there with the commander of the team.